YouTube, my name is Rhino. I'm going to be showing you how to make a order sensitive combination lock system to put on your doors and such to make sure people you don't like can't get to it. What I have right here is I have a demonstration of what the final product will look like. If you hit the one, three, and five buttons, it opens the door. Hit any other button, it closes it. If you hit them out of order, it will not open. And if you were to hit one, three, and then the wrong button, and then five, it won't open it. So, it's just a simple lock system to keep the undesirables away from your treasures and good things. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to set up my wall of buttons. And I don't know how many I have right now. Two, three, four, I need just two more on here. And there we have it. All right. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come around the back. And on the back of each of my buttons, I'm going to add a redstone torch. And on the ground underneath that, I'm going to add some wire. And what this is going to do... Sorry for the lag, guys. My computer is not the best, but try to make do. Oh, boy. Uh, so what this is going to do is it's just going to take the signal from the button and transfer it into the system behind it. And we're going to want our 1, 3, and 5 buttons to be the ones we use. So we're going to go behind each of them, and we're going to add a not gate, which is basically taking whatever signal is being put in and putting out the opposite. So this one's on, so it's going to come out off. And then off of each of these, I'm going to add a RS NOR latch. And what an RS NOR latch does is it has two inputs and two outputs. If the if one input is turned on even just for a second, it will switch to that output and it will leave that output on until the other input is triggered and then it will switch back to the other output. So unlike other it, it's called a latch because unlike other gates or switches, it doesn't simply modify the signal and retransmit it. It actually changes it and keeps it changed. And for uh, these two on, the, uh, on this end here, you're going to want to watch the positioning of these two dirt blocks. You want them to be lined up. It's not going to make much of a difference right now, but later on, it can really screw things up if you have them misaligned. So, you want to be careful with that. And just get this wrapped up here. And I will, I will explain exactly what all of this does later on in more detail. For now, just do as I say, and nobody gets hurt. Uh, all right, and now off of each of these, I'm going to want to add a knot gate, which is just a piece of dirt and a redstone torch. And there's this, and then I'm going to take the this one, and I'm going to run wire out like this to here 
And then I'm going to take this one. And, whoops, went a little bit too far there. I'm going to put these both into a AND gate here. And what an AND gate is, is just two redstone torches on top. You have your two inputs, this input here, this input here. They read out onto these torches. And then on the other side, you have another torch. And what this will do is when this one turns on, it turns this light off. And when this one is on, it turns this light off. And then when they're both, so when both of these inputs are on, both of the torches are off. So this one turns on, and your output here turns on. So it's basically saying, if both of these signals are true, then this is true. And then I'm going to take that signal, and I'm going to combine it with this signal here, and put that into another AND gate. And then I'm going to just run this right back up to here. I should probably add a repeater right in here, just to make sure the signal makes it. And there we go. I will add a door there later. I don't have one with me right now, so I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, this system is technically functional right now. If you uh, hit 1, 3, and 5, then this signal turns on. Oh, got a wire across somewhere. Something's not staying how it should. Yeah, gonna have to fix that. But, uh, so it's technically working right now, but the, uh, the false signals do not do anything, and you can hit them in any order you want, and it will still have the same effect. So someone could just run down the line and hit all the buttons, and there you go, you got your door open, and that's just not... That just ain't going to cut it. So in the next tutorial, I will show you how to, uh, how to add the, uh, the false signals. And if I get to it, I will also add the order sensitivity so that you can make your system more secure. Thank you for watching. See you next time.